Don't mind if I do? Yes. Right now it's looking a little like cray cray. Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And today we are DIYing your DM. Yeah, we are. New series alert. We went on our Instagram and asked you guys to send us DMs of photos or things that you wanted us to try and DIY. And then we would pick some people. DIY them. Low key, we kind of already do this. We incorporate your DMs into other videos, but this one is like a strictly like, we might not do this DIY in any other form. So we're gonna do it in the DIY in your DMs series. And we're gonna give you a shout out if we select your DM. So make sure you're following us on Instagram and sending us DMs whenever you see something that you want us to DIY. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Links below. And um, while you're doing things for us because you love us and we love you, you guys should ring that notification bell. So that you don't miss an upload ever. You know what, my mom was like, um, I'm not getting notified about your videos anymore. And I was like, mom. Mom. Ring the bell, and she's like, where's the bell? And my dad's like, oh, Susan. So make Wait. sure you ring that bell, don't be a mom. Is your mom's name Susan? Anyways, <laughs> on to the DMs. Okay, so first up we have this DM sent us by Diana, and it's this beautiful tie-up kind of bell sleeve shirt, and it actually looks like a pretty simple thing to make out of a thrift store shirt. So we found this loose red shirt at the thrift store. It was really inexpensive, and it's great because it doesn't have a collar, and the sleeves are pretty baggy, so I think we can get it to look pretty similar. So first up, I'm gonna cut anything off that I don't need, like the buttons, and make it cropped, and cut the sleeves. So everything's been cut off that I didn't want, like the sleeves are shorter, I curved it in the front to make these little tails. And already it's starting to look really similar to the picture, which is awesome. So lastly, I'm just gonna use the sewing machine and hem up all of the cuts that I made so it doesn't fray, and we should be in a good spot. Okay, so now that the hem is all sewed up, this is done and it's super cute. This is actually a great project too if you have an old shirt that you don't wear anymore and that you wanna summarize. So easy to do. Summarize it. Summer eyes. Like the season. Like summer eyes? Bye. <laughs> so this DM came from Lorena. It is some kind of rack, towel rack, hat rack, purse rack, front hall rack, but it's a vertical rack. Are a lot of racks vertical? We're going to DIY this rack. <laughs> so, cool. so much rack. For this rack, we picked up a couple of dowels. We have one one inch dowel and two half inch dowels. I'm just gonna cut these to size. But you can also get this done at the hardware store if you don't have a saw at home. So what I end up having is my large dowel at 33 and a half inches and then I have five of my smaller dowels at six and a half inches. And then lastly, two of my smaller dowels at three and a half inches. The next step is to take my drill bit that is the size of these wooden dowels, so half inch, and I'm just going to drill holes kind of like either side of the pole, almost like a tree that has little branches. I'm gonna do three on one side, two on the other, and they're gonna be out on an angle like this. And the top and the bottom for my small dowels, I'm just gonna drill that straight back because those are gonna be the bars that hold it to the wall. So you need those to be whatever that would be, like a 90 degree angle, you know? So once you have all of your holes made and your flute, is now ready to be played, just kidding. I'm just gonna use some wood glue to add in all of our dowels and I'm just gonna like hammer them in to make sure that they're in there tight and then we'll leave that to dry. So this is ready to dry and set with its wood glue in there. The next step is to put like the wall bracket on, I guess we could call it. But what we're using for that is a half inch galvanized phalange. This is a couple bucks at the hardware store and also a copper male fitting adapter. When you're there, you can just talk to somebody or just like make sure that they fit together because that's how we're gonna use them. And then this is gonna go on our small piece. So the two smaller dowels that we have that go directly to the back. It is gonna be a little bit loose. So we're gonna use some construction adhesive to hold that in place and let that dry. And then we're gonna paint the whole thing because right now it's looking a little like cray cray. <laughs> We also had these square wooden beads that look like the inspo photo, so I decided to add them to the end with some construction adhesive. And I'm going to prime it all with a white primer and then paint it with this hammered metal brown spray paint. And this is what it looks like all painted. You definitely want to prime and then paint 
because that way you get that really shiny metal look. I think it looks freaking good. I was a little nervous there. I was like, what is this wood like contraption? But this looks like metal. It looks professional and I'm super proud of it. So this DM was sent to us by Reina and it's this gorgeous monstera leaf pegboard shelf. It's actually kind of similar to this with the large pegboards, but the best part is it's monstera leaf shaped. You guys remember our DIY neon monstera leaf sign? Then it's great because if you have this template already, you can use it again. If you're a sponsor, you get it for free. Link below. So to make this shelf, I'm going to use MDF because we have a lot of this around the office, but you could use wood as well if you wanted to. So first step is going to be tracing this out onto here. Now if you're using this template, ignore these holes in the middle and make sure you draw on a little stemmy first. Okay, once your shape is drawn on the MDF, it's time to cut it out. We are gonna use a jigsaw for that. It's great for making precision cuts, but I wanna make it a little bit easier for me and you. So I think the best way to go about this is every time there's a point on the inside of the leaf, we're actually gonna drill a hole through it. That way you get that perfectly round inner shape and it's a lot easier to cut it out. It should just fall out when you hit that hole. So I've selected two drill bits. These ones are great for going through wood and MDF and they're the right size to fit nicely in the grooves of the monstera leaf. So I'm gonna put holes through all those parts first and then go around and cut it all out. And then I just sanded the whole thing with some sandpaper. And this is how it looks when it's finished. It's actually really cute. Like I'm thinking like cutting board vibes if you stopped here, so cute. So next is to add the holes for the pegs. We're gonna do these pegs. We're gonna steal them from the board behind because they're already cut. So I'm gonna make holes that is this size kind of sporadically around wherever makes the most sense with a drill that's the right size. And then we're almost done. So mind if I do? Okay, <laughs> and we're back. So this is how it looks, all the holes in it. It's already looking so cute. These are just regular wooden dowels that are 5 8 Just cut to this length, like four inches, three inches. And these are gonna be our pegs in the pegboard, like so, yes. So lastly is to color this. Now when we were looking at the picture, we were like, we swore that it was baby pink. And then I was looking at it again, and I think it's just a really peachy red wood, like a maple or uh, cherry or cedar. One of those ones. But uh, we're using MDF, which is not that color. So I think I'm gonna paint it baby pink anyways, because it's gonna be cuter that way. So the paint is dry, and you can just add the pegs into wherever you need them. And it's so cute! So last step would be to add a picture hanger or anything if you wanna hang this on the wall, and that's it. I mean, guys, guys, we did so well. Like, I, this series I thought it would just be fun and be interesting because like, we did your DMs, but it's like doubly cool that we did such a good job. And we're all fighting over the red shirt, so. Make sure you guys are following us on Instagram so you don't miss next time we shout out requesting for DMs. You can always send us DMs like whenever. Yeah, we'll save them. But we'll be checking them mainly when we ask you for them, so make sure you're following us so you don't miss that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, make sure that you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.